So, I'm not sure about you, how excited are you uh, for Easter? I'm so excited, yes, are you not? After 40 days fasting and self-denial, giving up food or giving up, uh, I don't know, Facebook or social media or Instagram, but now finish, yeah? How excited are you? Yeah? And um, before you have fasting, now Easter you have feasting. Ah, you can have a good food, meat or something like that. How excited are you? And I myself, um, before, um, I'm not sure about you, you have a um, girlfriend or boyfriend or you have a long distance relationship or um, usually the time when I myself before, a uh, long time ago in my early 20s, uh, I had a girlfriend, long, a long distance relationship, so I was looking forward to meeting her, you know, looking forward. Yeah? And when we met, so excited, so happy. So it, there's excitement there. And I remember uh, about uh, almost nine years ago, before uh, going to Indonesia. So after my appointment in uh, Melbourne, so the congregation sent me to uh, Indonesia to start the mission. That was 2014. And myself and two other priests, we decided to do a kind of crazy thing, silly thing. Uh, not a bad thing, but actually good thing, which is we decided to go for a hiking, hiking to north of uh, Australia, the Mornington Peninsula. Uh, so after mass, Sunday mass, we decided to go, and then, but because we were late, the park uh, when we go so closed at five o'clock, but we reached five past five, and the, the ranger said, "No, you cannot go." You cannot do the hiking. But three of us, we insist. We want to go. We want to go because this is the only time. So finally, the, the ranger said, well, you can go. So three of us uh, go for uh, bush, uh, bushwalking, hiking. And uh, that start at 5.30. That was summer, February. And still light until 9, 10 o'clock, but after that, start dark. And um, when we went dark, and we realized we didn't bring the torch, the light, so we start using our uh, phone, you know, there is a flashlight in the phone, but we still walk, it's not only Five kilometer walks, not only 10, but 25 kilometers walk until we, we reach the lighthouse. So we were afraid and we just walk and walk and we almost uh, close to the cliff we, because there's two light to the lighthouse and to the cliff. If there is no light, even only small, we fell into the cliff and we, we would die. But finally we made it. We made it until the lighthouse, we see the light and see, we're so excited. So we reach about 2, 2 a.m. in the morning and have a rest and then coming back again 25 kilometers back. So it's so excited, so excited that we see the light when we live in the darkness. And two days gospel, two days gospel, when Mary Magdalene and all disciples, they were afraid actually. They live in darkness because uncertainly, hopelessness, because the master, Jesus, died on the cross. And they just, you know, like uh, no purpose in life anymore because Jesus died, the master died. But they have faith. And that's why after three days, Mary Magdalene, all the disciples, Simon Peter, John the Beloved, they're so excited. This excitement to meet the Beloved One is Jesus Christ. And when they enter into the tomb, there's no Jesus. 
a body there. Where are Jesus' body? And finally, they will we, we repeat again to the Mass and next Masses, and Jesus will be appear. Yes, it's appearance of the risen Lord. So Jesus conquered the death. So Jesus is the light of the world who cast away the darkness. So not only the darkness of the human, but also the darkness in our lives. So if you been living in the darkness, no purpose in life, so waiting for someone to save you, this is the time. Jesus has conquered the death to save us, to save you and me. And I myself, before becoming priest, I had a dark life in my life. And I pray and pray to God, to Jesus, to save me. So finally, Jesus come to rescue me from the darkness. And now I have new life, new creation with Jesus. New hope. So my brothers and sisters, now in this new season of Easter, let us have a new life. New hope. Do not be afraid. Because Jesus is full of mercy. And next week, we celebrate divine mercy. If you living in the darkness, a lot of sins in your life, don't be afraid that Jesus is not condemning you. We know that Mary Magdalene, all the disciples, even Peter, Simon Peter, denied Jesus three times. But Jesus always bring the light bring peace, do not be afraid, and bring mercy and forgiveness for us, new life. So do not be afraid, and let us hope in the Lord, the Lord Jesus will bring us new life. So that's why in the beginning, there is no penitential act, there is no uh, kiri eleison, there is no Lord have mercy, because after this one, so there is no the creed, but we will renew our baptism, our promise, because we would like to again to reject sin, reject Satan, reject the glamour of the world, because we, we are children of light. So my brothers and sisters, in the moment, so we are going to uh, renew our vows, I will ask the question and you will respond, I do, I do, because this is the promise of our baptism. Amen? Amen.